it's another blow to Scarborough Transit users. The dedicated busway that is supposed to replace the SRT is behind schedule and the cost has skyrocketed. Shauna Hunt joins us now with the details and reaction. Shauna. Yeah, so Erica, I mean, the city knew that the SRT was going to be decommissioned in 2023 and construction on the busway was supposed to begin months ago. Critics are calling this another example of Scarborough being left behind. What was an eight minute SRT ride is now taken twice, even three times as long. The SRT was decommissioned a few months ahead of schedule after a train car derailed back in the summer. Since then, transit users have been cramming onto shuttle buses, and while dedicated traffic lanes have been created, travel is slow and unreliable. Constant like delays and stuff like that, and um, pushback timing, and the inconsistent times with the app as well. When the city decided to phase out the aging SRT, it knew there would be a transit gap to fill while the Scarborough subway extension was being built. The plan was to transform the existing rapid transit infrastructure into a busway, and that was supposed to begin last fall. We received a briefing note last night revealing that some basic due diligence, including completing an environmental assessment and other necessary work, was not done by TTC staff. A report presented to the TTC board now says that construction will not start until next year and will be completed sometime in 2027. The busway is also costing $12.2 million, more than expected. Still doable? Uh, inflation, you know, it happens and um, we'll see. Uh, I will be presenting my budget on February 1st. I'm actually going to be putting forward a motion that looks to reallocate some of the existing money in the TTC's capital budget um, to come up with the money that they need just to keep the initial work going. And while it's not uncommon for major transit projects to be delayed, critics are baffled by this one. This project is especially frustrating because it's been so long in the making and we knew this was coming. This should be uh, going at, at top speed and we should be trying to find strategies to accelerate this uh, because the, the riders in Scarborough uh, demand and deserve uh, effective public transit. Zane Karam is the transit lead with the Toronto Youth Cabinet and tells me he's holding the mayor's feet to the fire. While other transit projects across the city are being prioritized, this simply wasn't. Olivia Chow did promise in her mayoral campaign that she would make the Scarborough Busway her number one commitment or a big commitment for Scarborough residents, right? Now, the report also said that the busway design is only 60% complete and that the cost will likely fluctuate. The city is also asking the province for funding, but at this point, the province says it's not their responsibility. In Scarborough, reporting live, Shauna Hunt City News.